Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. In this episode we will explore a lot more gameplay but more importantly we will look at how to complete the find my lost nugget challenge. So let's begin. So I'll unpause it. This gentleman would like us to heal him. So here we go. We are going to be rewarded with the Anti City Alley which is a park. So if you ignore this, you will not receive this reward. So it's totally up to you. I, I believe there's five varieties of parks. So we are definitely going to do it because... That nugget isn't is looking good too good. I to don't think do. purple bumps are very so, common. Heal the nugget, creator. We do. I can't bear to watch someone be sick. It makes my insides turn out of worry, of course. All we do is go to the God Power, pick Rejuvenate, find the Sim, sorry, find the Nugget, which is here, hold down Control, shows us what God Power and how much Creator Points, and That'll we heal them. them. Right up. Done. So as you can see, this park is now available. We can only build 10 of them, but they are the cheapest park to build. And they take up a small amount of water compared to the others. Um, like I said, parks are great for increasing your happiness level. Uh, lower crime. So as you can see here, the evolution tower and nugget uh, happiness is all in the green. When you start building particular buildings, it will have a negative effect on your nuggets happiness and the crime level. So you have to find a balance between uh, having negative buildings and uh, building parks and as I said parks are also a good way of keeping the planet condition in a high volume and having high volume of oxygen so also this temple has been constructed it is automatically constructed by your nuggets so at the moment we have four working slots available we're just going to do one uh, if you fill up all of these that means you only have two people doing labor so we just want one for the moment so you can decide to be a good god or an evil god here so you can sacrifice nuggets it can be from your own civilization or can be from one of the rogue ones that get set up in the uh, future of the game um, and it will have a negative effect and it will make your uh, nuggets fear you and obviously as it says there's pros and cons to this um, we're going to stay on the good side during this series but in the next series we do where we go down the harder road of building more polluted buildings and nuclear power plants we will go evil I think it should give us a good outcome perhaps so what we are going to do now so we have our buildings come along fishing huts about to come along so all your fishing huts and farms will have a stockpile of a certain amount that it will hold but then once you reach that much, it is just wasted. That's where building your warehouses come in to play. So we are going to build a warehouse in this vicinity. Just using the Q and E buttons to rotate the building. Right here looks good. And of course we need to assign a nugget. So as you can see, once you do more research, you'll be able to upgrade this building and it will unlock another section to have two nuggets producing more fish. So as you can see, our fish population is 7,497. As I said, the more fishing huts you have around the, the uh, water source, obviously the uh, quicker that population is going to go down. And as I said in the last episode, I don't believe it 
increases if you stop fishing at the moment that might be something to have a look into so we'll just do this young fella so going back to population and increasing our population obviously we have eight and one child like i said last episode if i just keep i've got buildings here that i need to build i can build more engineers huts which i will have to do but if i can continuously put buildings down to be built and keep researching and as you research more buildings become upgradable then you upgrade every single building that's more resources your labor nuggets have to find and produce meaning they're having less time in recreation situations which means dating and finding single nuggets and going off to mate so you want to have a good balance of your nuggets especially the labor force for force working and also going out and finding potential partners and mating and forming a family so if you just smash out a whole lot of buildings smash out out a whole lot of research can you continuously upgrade every building once it's available this is where you're going to have issues with your population and on top of that you'll have issues with food supply so even though it can be tedious slow 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 is the way so all our reservoirs have been built um I believe we've got a good amount of pumps at the moment but because we positioned ourselves here we have one water source two three water sources to uh, take from which is ideal um, so pretty much all we have is a, another well the warehouse to be built so we can uh, go ahead and build another engineer's hut. Now, like I said before, normally you would build the building, your next engineer's hut over here. So you want the rad green radius to be further apart so they're not um, working on top of each other. But like I said, at the moment, we only have uh, one one engineer per hut okay so in here we only have one so at this moment this one engineer is keeping up repairs for four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen buildings it's just impossible to do so at the start your engineers huts have to be a bit closer together but as you research as you upgrade buildings that radius becomes bigger you have more access to engineers per hut meaning you can remove a few of those buildings down the track which will free up your nuggets so i believe this panel up here in the right hand corner is the only one we need to talk about now so this is just your home button anywhere on the planet will zoom you back to your every center okay we have elections so you do not have to interact with this at all that your nuggets will vote for someone and then they're there for i think 30 minutes so this person is bringing across medical aid so if she is voted in uh, there will be a decrease in medicine preparation by 90 percent which is brilliant accelerated studies 50% less school time, but the injury rate rises to 35. And then elderly, elderly assisted living. Uh, elders will mate, but then it brings a 30% chance of them dying, which we do not want. So either of these two will be fine. I would go medical. It doesn't matter. We don't have schools. We don't have hospitals at the moment. We do not want our elderly dying too quickly. So we'll just click here to influence the nuggets and that is all so that will go for three four minutes until someone is voted in so we have influenced that you don't have to do that option you can just let your nuggets go ahead and shape their own destiny if you desire 
Um, so that's going ahead. We have another engineer's hut here. Let's let's do some research. So we are going to do grass reaving. So this increases our nuggets carrying capacity by two. Let's do that. These other ones are unavailable uh, because we need to research material refinement. So this is where I'm going to research to up to here. And then when I get up to there, it will unlock a whole lot of buildings to be upgraded. I will then upgrade those buildings. Once those up buildings have been upgraded and I'm happy with the amount of buildings I've built. So I've got enough engineers house. I've got enough farming. I will then move on to researching another section, probably up to here to electricity. So that's, that's the best uh, plan to do. Just slowly, slowly, small sections. If you just keep researching, 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 and it unlocks every upgrade to your buildings, you'll be so inundated by buildings to upgrade, buildings to build, because you obviously gain access to new buildings as you research. Uh, it's going to have a negative effect on your labor force. So they're going to be continuously working and not mating which will bring your level to a uh, like to a level where it will not increase in fact it will probably decrease because your nuggets are dying so we're doing grass reaving we'll do angel burial to unlock the cemetery we want to get the cemetery unlocked because when your nuggets die they just decompose where they die and if your healthy nuggets walk through them, it's an infected zone, they will get sick. If they get sick, they go to the hospital. Then they're, at, they're not working. They're not collecting your resources. They're not, if they're an engineer, they're not going around building, uh, repairing your building. So let's get that. We'll do the town hall. I'd love to explain that. And we want farming. We need hunting for winter. And we'll, oh, that's it for the moment. I've always okay. wondered who actually does the research around here? Well, I do the research, clearly. Okay, so next, let's have a look at what buildings we can build. Engineers are fine, we've got a second one being built. Once we start building in this section, I'll build another engineer's hut over here. Water is fine. Again, once I start building over here, I'll do some more pumps. Uh, I'll do another bunch of reservoirs uh we could probably do a well we got two there let's do another one up here near the uh over here near the uh temple so as you can see the radius on the well has increased because it is now upgradable as you can see, this smaller one here, and the larger. So like I said, every time you upgrade it, the radius becomes bigger. It produces more water for your nuggets. You can uh, start demolishing a few down the track so you don't have a lot of buildings, which will then allow your engineers to actually repair the buildings you require and not having a backlog of excessive buildings around so what else can we do because we've got fish and we're going to start farm soon we will do an eatery so you want eateries in sections of your area as well so I would do one to provide food for nuggets for this area once we build up I'll build another one in this area and then I'll build another one in this area so you want you're doing uh zones pretty much and in each zone so in, in this each of this area i will have a school i'll have a restaurant i will have a police station i'll have a fire station i'll have a hospital cemeteries you don't need quite a lot because as you will see their radius is massive um so you only need i think uh, i've had three or four and that's all i've had and got into the space age with that so so let's see if we can pop a restaurant somewhere around here. Let's 
No. So I'm going to pop it here, even though the road is red. It's only not. It's only going to stop the road. I believe at the bend there. So yeah. So the road's just going to go there, which is fine. It's not connecting to anything up there. So we've got the restaurant happening, and obviously going back to increasing your population. Every building you build requires a nugget to work in it. So if you're building three or four restaurants all in one go building three or four engineers huts, fire stations. If you're going crazy with buildings, they require nuggets to work in there, which then takes away from your labor force. And your labor force, I believe, are the ones that do most of the mating, pretty much. So we're just celebrating. You don't have to do the fireworks. It just gives a bit of a happiness boost to your nuggets. So we got restaurant, we got we got all that. Uh, these two are unlocked soon. We need to get cracking creator. onto those. I'm beginning to feel that nuggets have the wrong address. Do they really think you can solve these problems? So now we have a hospital. We'll quickly pop this down and then we'll get on to this new challenge. Find my last nugget. Okay, this is something I have seen online with people having issues actually finding the nugget. I have discovered two ways of doing this and it, it gives you access to another park which we want. So we're going to go on to this I and then we're going to pause. Now to find this nugget, usually these events, it has this eye capture which will take you straight to the event but it doesn't do it for this, you actually have to find a nugget. So the two ways of doing it is you actually search around and find a nugget. And it's pretty easy. It's a child with three or four uh, wolves surrounding it. And you just use ten telekinesis to pick her up and take her back to your epicenter. Now, the other way I have found is you actually look for the name of the nugget. So this baby is Mazua. Okay. So. Go to the residential towns and look for the child. There he is. So what we can do, it will actually take us to the destination now. See? Straight there. We didn't have to waste our time looking. You just find the name of the nugget, look for it in the residential housing, and it will zoom you straight to there. So we need to... If you find more than this. just bones, creator, every Telekinesis. counts. And pick it up. And that's it. Oh, wrong one, sorry. Pick up the nugget and go back. There we go. There we go. Done. Now you can slow the descent of going back to your, t your town by using the WASD buttons. But we uh, just took the quick and easy way out. Okay, so our nugget here is injured. Now, this will slowly go down and the nugget will die. We don't want that at the moment because our population is so small, we need every nugget possible. We can wait for the hospital to be built or we can just cure the nugget ourselves. But this is where you need to keep an eye. You don't want to go crazy healing every nugget. Okay, so we have a new neighbor. So one of our nuggets didn't like the way we are heading down. The path we are heading down. So sh they have gone off. I bet they've never felt so good. So let's go check out ever will they again. this town. So like I said, they'll either be neutral, aggressive, or they will be um, nice to you. So once, and they will produce a population produce buildings um, I believe their their technology level pretty much runs parallel with your own um, but yeah once that gets established you can trade with them the more you trade the more the nugget the new nugget city will 
be uh, kinder to you but they will sometimes send messages being very aggressive saying give me this resource give me that and it's up to you you can agree or disagree you can let your nuggets decide what they do if you disagree they will become aggressive to you and they will attack you so we need to keep in mind where that is because where are we we're over here so they are fair distance but if they attack us it will mostly likely be through here so if we end up finding they are becoming aggressive we would want to build maybe a tower defense tower here so and also defense towers help you down the ufos that come and visit your planet they will usually kidnap one of your nuggets and destroy one of your buildings you can counteract this by using the dome god power which isn't available yet or you can just let it happen the tower def defense towers actually don't shoot them down until you're into the modern age so pretty much either let the ufo do what it does or you just monitor it when it comes you'll hear it come it does a big massive um, shockwave boom and you can just follow it around use the god power dome to protect whatever it's designed to take and then it will go off and so they usually come visit you maybe once or twice uh, one, once every two, two, two to three years so so obviously they're not researching this box because they're building so this is a perfect example if I stopped giving them buildings to build and stopped them uh, finding resources to uh, upgrade buildings they will come and start uh, researching this uh, Chuzo box and it's just the same with mating if you continuously have your nuggets working they will not socialize they will not couple up and they will not mate and it will affect your number of nuggets so we have come into winter our food stock's good it's 37 36 we only have 10 adults two children so that's fine as you can see water pumps fishing huts are closed now because the rivers are frozen up and the lakes so that's plenty of food and once the restaurant is built it will process this raw food into cooked food cooked foods obviously better gives more energy to your nuggets more stamina so but definitely we will should farming should be available by the end of this winter season and we'll start building i usually build four in a row and you need to collect all these berries and herbs I believe there's three for each uh, biozone. So there's a uh, desert, grassland, forest, Wolves and are uh, mountain Sharp region. Teeth and severe hunger are a okay. terrible combination for nuggets, I'm afraid. So wolves are coming. We don't have a hunter's hut, so we've got nothing to protect these nuggets. Um, firearms are not available at the moment because we haven't researched it. So the only thing we can do, we can either let the uh, wolves attack. They'll probably wipe out a lot of our population. We can't even sound the alarm to tell our nuggets to go into their houses because we don't have the uh, weather oh, station Another yet. message. They don't stop coming. Put out the house fire. Maybe you should add a okay, spam filter or at least release a plague or something to call the herd. So we have unlocked this trickle effect. So I don't believe there's a fire there, but we'll just pop it over. It should. Yeah, Sally, you numbskull, there is no fire. Oh, there it is. So we put it out. Done. Our biggest concern, though, is these wolves. Um, so these wolves aren't attacking you. You will see them. They will be running there in groups. And the god mode... Usually I use lightning, here we go. So this might be one. Hopefully that was it. Okay, so another engineer's hut completed. We will allocate another nugget. 
So as you can see, oh sorry, we meant to get back up to here. So this is your home button. This shows you your list of nuggets. So it shows me I've got a good good amount of labour for the moment. Clearly I'd love more, but this is what I've got. I have nine nuggets. So so this is, gives you a description. I went through this before. Uh, we also have the houses. So these are your buildings. It shows you their condition. You can change the condition to the, the lower end. So look, we have numerous amount of buildings and that one engineer was responsible for all these that's why you need to build a couple of buildings at the start because there's just one engineer to each hut so i uh, usually when it gets down to i believe 30 percent it will tell you your building is crumbling you need to repair it and that also tells you you need more engineers so either build more huts or get your research going to uh, upgrade your huts so and we have a good water supply to get us through winter down here so we're only consuming eight we had 158 so that's brilliant but obviously the more buildings we build the more water resource they require the the more you upgrade the more buildings you upgrade then they require water then they require electricity so this is why you can't just rush in, build a ton of buildings, upgrade a ton, do a ton of research. It's going to affect everything. So this is fine. A lot of these buildings hopefully be done by winter and we will get cracking on the farm. So we have something available. The cemetery. So I'm not going to do that yet. We've got these other buildings we're doing. That's fine. Farms is pretty much what I want to do next. Farms, then we'll do two hunting buildings. We'll do one at one end, one at the other end of our town. Like I said, they will hunt during winter, so they still provide a food source, but they also double as your garrison. So if you have another animal attack, they will actually go and attack them. So at the moment, I believe you just have spears, then you get upgraded to bows and arrows, then you get upgraded to firearms. So, okay. And out, and your uh, other cities will actually steal your resources too. That's why you don't want to build uh, warehouses on the fringe of your town because they will flog your resource which isn't good for you. So yeah, we'll move forward a little bit here. I'll get these buildings up and going. Then we'll finish off with uh, completing a few farms and we'll end it there. So please remember to subscribe to this channel and like this video. Uh, leave any comments you would like. Let me know what you think, any tips or suggestions and uh, we will continue on with this storyline. Ah, a farm. I see you are finally taking interest in your civilization's need to eat. Guess it's time to take starving to death off the list of anticipated disasters. For now. Okay, so a hot tip is build just the one farm, okay? I've got no other buildings to be built, so this will get done quite quickly. The reason we want to do this now, so it is... Uh, just gone into autumn once you build your first farm you'll get a challenge to stock it with a herb now if that challenge comes up during winter you cannot complete it because all these berry uh, bushes the food is removed during winter okay so we want this farm to be built as soon as possible so the challenge is activated and we can quickly Use telekinesis to pick this up, drop it on the farm, challenge completed. If it if that challenge is uh, triggered during the winter, you won't be able to do it. The timer just runs out and you miss out, I believe. I think the prize might be another building, so it's pretty important. So we've got two nuggets uh, doing this uh, construction of the farm, so hopefully they're quite quick. Uh, usually, so just to uh, touch on the the weather, 
and the seasons there's usually three blocks per season we'll see that once we build the broad uh the weather tower um so we should we should have get enough time to do this hopefully even if it the challenge triggers at the start of winter depending how cold the there should be some herbs or fruits still on these uh bushes so so yeah once this uh is complete we'll finish it there um again i this is the only building i need to build so the two laborers completing this building will do that all my other laborers will be free to make children and as you can see if we go to the cupid there we go we only have four single and only one's a male the rest are female so by allowing these laborers to have a bit of free time they go off and mate up by themselves you don't have to waste your creative pro uh, points in doing it but we're going to do it for this these two okay so we're back our farm is now completed so we'll assign a nugget to that and we get to choose a crop so this is a default crop it will you'll have it automatically so it takes uh this is the expected growth speed 10 minutes uh you will get eight food from each uh planting and it will take up two units of water now usually because uh there's only one farmer in here you get one lot of crop each year when you upgrade it you get another plot of farming land and you'll have two farmers from then on you usually get two crops of food per year <laughs> i just read that latest message so here we go this has activated the food uh challenge so yeah we get a park from this so we definitely want to do this if you did this during winter you have no chance of completing it real hoot. so we'll go on to that maybe go telekinesis and there's no food there there's no food there but we have some food here so we can just collect this using telekinesis and we will just use the, the arrow keys the w a s d buttons to maneuver us over here drop it completed just in time too because i think winter will be starting quite quickly and then you do that you collect all the rest on the planet so as you can see there's quite a few like i said i believe there's three for each biodome collect them all there's uh three three lots of herbs those two down the bottom and the one we collected are for medical use and the rest is for food so we will leave it there thanks for watching please if you can subscribe and like this video and i will see you next time goodbye Thank you.